Hello, welcome to the Morales channel and the Kronos Account API. Morales provides a single workflow for creating high performance dApps. Unity's flexible development platform offers incredible opportunities for creating apps and games. The Web3 Unity SDK brings the power of Morales to your Unity projects. The Morales Web3 API offers getting account info, NFT info, and more. Here I'm showing it specifically with Kronos inside the Unity SDK, but you can use it with any chain and any SDK that Morales supports. Let's learn more. Hi, my name's Sam. I'm a Unity certified developer at Morales. I have over 20 years of game dev experience and more than 10 years experience as a digital nomad. I love spending time in nature and practicing sports, as well as drawing, painting, and making music. To learn more about the Web3 Unity SDK, click the link above. You'll learn the basics about how to connect Morales technology into your Unity projects. If you're curious to find out more about what is Kronos, check out this explainer video by clicking above. It covers the benefits of using Kronos on your project for games and dApps. And click here to learn about authentication and funding your account using a faucet specifically for Kronos. Morales includes complete learning resources. These resources include the Morales Examples Project. The Examples Project is a suite of standalone Unity scenes, each that focus on specific features and functionality. You can download it from our GitHub. Some suggestions on how to use this project is to open it up and play these scenes as a user. See which features and functionality you're interested in. Then dig into the code and see about experimentation within this project and eventually porting this into your own project. The examples project features automatic authentication. While not all Morales SDK functionality requires authentication, for simplicity here, every scene you step into will first check that you're authed and help you auth at runtime. If you auth now, stop and start Unity later, your auth session will stay alive. Let's take a look at the Morales Web3 API and see the unique benefits here. We can get the native balance and get the transactions for the blockchain. We can get information about the token balances and token transfers as well. And for NFTs on the blockchain, there's lots of information. There's get NFT, get NFTs for a specific contract, get NFT transfers, and more. Now let's open up Unity and take a look at this in action. So that you can see my screen better here, I'm going to lower the opacity. Here's the Morales Web3 GitHub where we can get this examples project. Here we have the examples project opened up into Unity. Let's start by opening the README asset. The README asset has information about Morales and getting started. At this point, I've already done steps one through four, so we're ready to open up our first scene. The one that's interesting for us is the account API. I'll run that scene now. From the top menu here, I can choose the chain that I'm interested in. We can look at Kronos, the Kronos testnet, and other chains. Here with Kronos selected, I can see information that's shown for an example user address. I can get info about the native balance. I can get info about the NFTs info about tokens, and much more. For brevity's sake here, I only show some of the info into the UI. Depending on your needs, you can dig in and see what information is best for you. Let's take a look at the code. In the scene here, I've got an example game object, and I can click through to the script. This one script does everything interesting for this particular scene. We see how to get native balance, how to get transactions. You can get token balances. Get token transfers. Get NFTs. Get NFT transfers. And lastly, in this demo, get NFTs for contract. Let's take a look at any one of these. Some of the code around the actual execute is just to render this out to the UI in the specific needs of the example project. But here you can see that we pass in the address. This is the user address of interest. We pass in the token address. 
This is the contract address for the token and the chain list value. Here we've got it set to Kronos or Kronos Testnet, depending on that dropdown we saw in the top navigation. Depending on the address values used, you may have results here or not, but assuming you do, you can loop through and get more information about each result. For the sake of the examples project, I'm simply building up a string and showing it in the UI. For the needs of your project, you can choose how to use this data. And that's it. We've taken a look at the UI inside Unity running, as well as some of the code for the most popular methods on the Web3 API. Next, let's look at the Gaming Metaverse Hackathon. Join the Morales Kronos Web3 Gaming Hackathon. Compete for a total prize pool of $100,000. Morales provides a single workflow for creating high-performance dApps. Kronos is the first ever EVM-compatible chain built on Cosmos. Register today and build on Kronos with Morales. Here we've looked at the Morales Web3 API specifically for Kronos inside Unity. You can use it for the Kronos mainnet and Kronos testnet. It's also available for other SDKs outside of Unity, and Morales supports this type of functionality for all chains. Kronos is the first ever EVM-compatible chain built on Cosmos. Morales offers authentication for the Kronos blockchain, as well as getting this rich information we've seen from the Web3 API. With Morales and Kronos, what will you build next? Visit docs.morales.io to download and get started. Thanks.